Hi Virgo, hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome, if you're new to the channel, thank you so very much for joining me. Whoa, <laughs> these cards are going everywhere today. Welcome back and welcome if you're new to the channel. My name is Christine. Welcome to another Virgo tarot reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, Virgo tarot reading, Virgo love tarot reading, well Virgo love reading, and as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Virgo love messages reading, still too many, too early, channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. Virgo, your reading is, your cards are just really wanting to come out here. Look what just fell out. It's the Six of Wands, Temperance, and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, the truth of how they feel, is there an offer here as well? Six of Wands, Jupiter, and Leo Energy. Jupiter's the planet of expansion, prosperity. It's around the connection, the biggest planet. And yeah, this is having overcome what is here in these five wands? What are those obstacles and challenges? Because they're just trotting in here on their horse, quite an emotional horse with their victory wreath, wanting to let you know. This oftentimes can be for me a message and it's coming in here with temperance. Archangel Michael, the angel for strength and protection, wanting to, well, wanting to light the path, the way to the truth. Here, look, right to the sun to a new cycle, to a new beginning, a happy one as well. And one that is serving everybody's highest good. This is bringing the truth. This is solving some issues, restoring harmony, restoring balance, Sagittarius energy, quite a fast energy. Of course, that 14 coming to a five, all about change. And then we have the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, Somebody coming in here with an offer, a lot of times this can be around a proposal. I mean, it, it can be marriage, you know? It's way too early to even see if that's a possibility. Well, it's a possibility, it's here. But let's get more into your reading. Either way, there's something coming in here very clearly. It can be coming via message. Somebody could also be coming in, you know, your person. So whether it's through energy, through a message, SMS, email, social media, even in, or in person, I want to say, you can see that they're coming in here and maybe it's with an offer. Proposal energy isn't always about marriage proposals. You know, proposals are new beginnings. Proposals can be proposing to talk, to meet. Your very first card here, partnership placement, temperance, and the Ace of Cups here, connecting with your swan, where your overall energy is going. Okay, <laughs> it's really early, Virgo, but that's how it goes. What I was trying to say is I'm channeling for you in November 2023, and you could be here in real time. We're in the holidays, lots of holiday stuff going on right now. So happy holidays, however you celebrate, wherever you are in the world. We're coming up to December, but we're still in November, and you could be here in real time in November 2023. But you could also be here many months and even years later. And the reason for that is this is a timeless reading. You are here when you're meant to be here. Virgo, this is a faded connection. It means there's a message here for you. I want to show you what's showing, what's being shown to me under the bottom of the deck. It's the Hierophant, Divine Masculine Energy, Taurus Energy, a card of commitments, contracts. Sometimes it can be legal, as in marriage contracts long-term, slow-moving energy, but contracts nonetheless. This can be around you. It can also be around something else. A lot of times this is around, you know, expectations and conformity and things, feeling like things have to be or they are a certain way. Let's see if the Hierophant is wanting to come back in here. We've, we saw it, it came, it went. Just wanted to show, show itself, divine masculine energy. Virgo, all the decks that are coming in are listed down below in the description. You'll also find all the playlists, all zodiac signs, all signs love tarot readings. Those are love readings for the collective. 
And if you're on a Twin Flame journey, there are very long and very in-depth Twin Flame readings below, as well as a lot more. So feel free to explore if you're inspired to do so. Remember, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and let the rest go. The Empress wanting to show herself here. So we have the Hierophant, interesting Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy. Not the counterpart, not the High Priestess, but we are seeing the Empress here divine feminine energy. So yeah, your person is coming in here in a really emotionally available way. They're bringing the truth of how they feel about you. Is this going to serve everybody's higher purpose? It sure looks like it because they're coming with the truth, connecting to the fifth chakra. They're coming to restart something here. Of course, the Empress has access to all the elements, all the signs, water, air, earth and fire, the love, all the transactional energy, the movement, you know, the movement of information and clarity and truth, the earth energy, commitments, relationships, connections, and all the practicalities underneath that, and the wand energy, speaking of wands. Well, it's some passion and energy. It's also the energy of love. It's around the heart, and it's, it's kind of how fast things are going. So the Empress has access to everything, this energy of being able to Grow anything, including love, Venus energy, of course, the planet of love, the hottest planet, new beginnings, abundance. Look at all the, everything that's been collected here emotionally is now right here and coming here. Are there timing issues? Because this is around timing and it feels like now the divine, divine timing, communication, growth. It's coming in with the Nine of Wands, interestingly, Moon and Sagittarius energy. So there's a lot of different energies that, are, that can come through. What is coming through for me today is somebody who is not given up. There's a really strong, persistent energy here. This is Sagittarius energy. It's quite fast. And it's the Moon and Sagittarius energy. So of course, it's around all the emotions that have been hidden. It's really clear. It's really clear they're coming in here with how they feel about you. Have they been emotionally unavailable? Have they been dishonest with themselves, with you about how they feel? It looks like it. What else is going on? Is there an offer here? Are they just coming in to profess their love or tell you how they feel? It's coming in really, really fast for me. And opening up, communicating in a new way. I want to do a little more hand shuffling. We saw them, they came, they went. Perhaps they come back, but they gave us the messages that we needed to hear. Okay. <laughs> so a lot of shuffling for the Empress to say, yeah, I want to be in here. Virgo, it's one of those readings. Again, Taurus energy, Venus energy, divine feminine energy. They are definitely coming in here with the truth of how they feel about you. It's extremely goosebumpy. And it's. I think it might be a message here in the Six of Wands energy, Jupiter and Leo energy. So yeah, they have they could even be picking up the phone or for some of you, maybe there's a distance, you're close to each other, but they want to, they want to get to you. They really want to get to you. They're holding up their victory wreath here. They're also wearing it. They're riding on a horse that's particularly emotional, particularly emotional, who actually doesn't want to look at the five of wands that are there. So what are those obstacles and challenges? Were they, are they all within your person's energy? Are they including some external energy? Highly likely for some of you because we saw that higher font energy and sometimes that can be, I wanna say people or thoughts that are kind of around somebody that makes them feel like they have to do things a certain way. So it can be that there has been or there was some interference that they're kind of moving past here, but also some emotional unavailability that they are coming out of because they're coming here emotionally available and with the truth about how they feel about you and what else, you know? So internal challenges, yeah. External maybe, but they're, they're trotting in here. You know, coming right here in the partnership placement with Temperance, who just wants to light the way to the truth, just wants to restore balance and solve these issues and get everybody on track. So this is just hanging off the deck here. And it's not surprising, and it's kind of the opposite ends here, because the Queen of Pentacles for me is like the, I don't know, the protege, the apprentice of the Empress. 
you know, it's sort of like this extra backup here, making sure <laughs> the floral, floral laurel wreath here is reunion energy for me. There's a lot of healing energy also here with the Queen of Pentacles, and she she's very resourceful. She can make things work that were not working, new beginnings. Here in this connection, that little bunny, that horror, matters of the heart. I think we're still in the year of the rabbit, the water rabbit, actually. Nonetheless, the Queen of Pentacles is, well, Capricorn and Saturn energy. And she's here to, well, get around some of that Saturn energy. Interesting, because Saturn can slow some things down. Planet of restriction, you know, structure and tradition and rules. Obstacles, interesting. Karma as well. Yeah, this is really goosebumpy. She's coming right below the Six of Wands, and catty corner to temperance here. So, obstacles, some karma, some karmic debts perhaps, and that structure and rules and traditions, the energy in Saturn. We saw that energy, not Saturn energy, but we saw that energy in the Hierophant of possibly something going on maybe in your person's head that they're carrying around how things are supposed to be or other people interference downright interference or just you know things like cultural religious differences distance just differences in life in any case the queen of pentacles has paired up here with the six of wands i really like this to overcome that and a really strong backup here with temperance validation but backup as well to say, yeah, I'm here to get everybody on the right path to solve these issues, to restore balance and harmony. Look at this, to work through this cycle and come out with this renewal right here in the partnership placement. This is kind of like moving on past energy. It's not always the case here. You know, every reading is very, very different, but that's what's coming through today. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. It's the lover's card, Gemini energy, Mercury energy, Archangel Raphael, the angel for healing, the angel for addressing, I want to say, spiritual needs, new beginnings, physical desires, happiness, Venus, the planet of love, here with the Empress, Temperance, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Six of Wands. Your reading is just extremely clear, Virgo. Will you love each other? They love you, Virgo. You love them too. This is a deep love. Soulmate energy is very strong. When I talk about twin flame energy, this is not a twin flame reading. I, you know, not everybody I know is on a twin flame journey, but the energy is here if you are. There's a decision coming up around this connection. They're planning something here. This is... It. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I was feeling drawn to go bottoms up, that happens, because this is what wants to be here. The emperor and the empress are here. This is, whether you were in a long-term connection, or you were heading toward it, or it was on the table, it is here. It's it's back, so it's a re, I want to say, reinvigoration of this long-term connection, or getting back on track here. The Emperor and the Empress are both here. Divine Masculine Energy, Aries and Mars Energy. Mars, the planet of action. You know, the planet of desire, drive. There can be some conflicting energy in Mars. Of course, there is an energy of completion there. This is Aries, the Emperor, but it does bring in Scorpio along with that Mars energy at the beginning and the end. So this is a restart big time. And... Boy, when things work, kind of power couple energy, they work. And when they don't, it's also intense. But you see things here are coming together. Virgo, it's really clear. Two very strong energies. And very clearly a restart. The lover's card. The king of swords. My gosh. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to continue on in just a moment here. But I just need to... Slow down for just a minute. What decision is coming here? Well, look what is here. It's catty corner here with the Ace of Cups. So we talked about that in, in the beginning of the reading about marriage. It's not, it's just not going to be for everybody. That's just the nature of, I mean, it's, it's a tarot reading here on YouTube, you know? With that said, it's a really strong energy, Virgo, for those of you that that is resonating for. 
This is proposal energy. It's def definitely can be marriage proposal energy. We saw that higher font energy. And the interesting thing is there is, I want to say in alignment, there is an energy with the higher font of both other things, a cycle that's getting, that's been worked out, that's being worked out or is getting worked out. Again, whether it's just in somebody's kind of thoughts about how things are supposed to be, are there, there are there are obstacles in the way externally as in interference or cultural religious differences, whatever. The gap is closing, I want to say with that. But that's there's also the energy of the higher font coming through for you that can be marriage around that, a, a card of commitments, contracts. This is just really clear. It's extremely goosebumpy. They're preparing for some kind of offer here, proposal energy. Again, it can also just be that it's this message to talk. It's telling you how they feel. Look at how incredibly clear this is. The King of Swords, Gemini, and Mercury energy. Gemini, of course, is all about communication. Mercury, the planet of the mind, the planet of communication, oftentimes connected to reading and writing, and that came through really early on in your reading of wanting to communicate. Again, for some of you, it can be in person even. I know that won't be for everyone. It can be a phone call, but there's a really strong validation for those of you that have been waiting for a message. And maybe you're not even, maybe you're not even going to be expecting it. It could be that it's connected to this proposal energy, this offer energy, and it comes out of nowhere. Who? Virgo, the emperor and the empress here are catty corner to each other. This is just incredibly clear. Coming in here really wanting to start things up. The ace of cups, the emperor, the empress, the king of swords, the lovers. Temperance. Queen of pentacles, six of wands. This is an energy of... Yeah, this is coming together. This is an offer. This is communication. Again, it could be starting in that way. It could be for some of you it starts in person or it could just be coming in a message, vice versa. But there's a decision to make here, Virgo. And it's catty corner with the Ace of Cups. And it's catty corner with the communication that's coming in. They're quite proud of themselves here. There is a, a victory energy here. It's in the partnership placement right below Temperance, Archangel Michael, who is here to get everybody on this path to the sun. That's the new outcome. That's the new cycle. So it's the end of the cycle, the end for sure, of no communication, no contact, and or in separation. And whatever these five wands have been, internal st stuff, challenges, obstacles, external, it's overcoming them. It's a new start. It's renewal. And of course temperance and of course that 10 deduces to a one and that's the potential that is here it's taking the opportunity which we see there's going to be a decision here it, it looks <laughs> like it's a, I want to say one that's a positive outcome on both sides The Nine of Wands is back. The Wheel of Fortune and the World card. And the Nine of Pentacles. There's the Pentacle, Nine Pentacles. That Pentacle coming right here and putting us into the Ten of Pentacles. This is love coming in, this Nine of Pentacles. Virgo, it's your energy. It's Virgo and Mercury energy. And, well, yeah, it's the journey of love right here. Of course, the nine, attainment and fulfillment, things coming to fruition here. This pentacle that the queen of pentacles is longingly holding on to, wanting to make work what, what was not working or stopped working. Very long-term energy here. The pentacles around the commitment, the connection, the relationship. Resourceful. Lots of Gaia energy, lots of healing energy. Again, kind of like the backup for... You know, the the apprentice, the protege to the empress here, coming here with the nine of pentacles, 
bringing us right into the Ten of Pentacles, Mercury and Virgo energy, very long-term energy, new start, coming back together. Whether you were already in the Ten of Pentacles, building a life together, you are wanting to rebuild it, that is the decision that's coming in here. It's extremely clear. Get all these grapes around here. That's the development. That is, well, yeah, it's also new beginnings. The Wheel of Fortune. This is, and, and I'm, I'm pausing because I'm hearing, where am I putting them today? The Wheel of Fortune, right in between the Emperor and the Empress. A turning point in this connection. This is a faded connection. It's a destined connection. It's clear this is a new start. And it's really strong energy here of hearing from your person. So again, whether you're hearing, whether you're seeing them, whether you're hearing from them via phone, message, whatever it is, it's extremely strong, a very deep soulmate connection. It can be that you've known your person for many years. It can also just feel that way. This is definitely coming into your destinies together here. Long-term energy, coming back into that, restarting it to continue on, or it's back on the table. It's incredibly clear. The Nine of Wands has now come back in reverse, and it's what's really interesting about that is it's kind of an, another energy here of, well, just a vulnerable energy. Also, of defenses being put down, because the energy, it's interesting, because the energy of your person coming here quite fast is still very much here, in particular as they ride in on their minor arcana <laughs> Six of Wands horse here. It's quite, it's pretty fast energy here with the wands and also with temperance, the Sagittarius energy here. I mean, it's just really clear, possibly out of nowhere here, but this wheel of fortune is spinning. This is a turning point here, and this is the Jupiter energy, and that's the planet of prosperity and expansion. Timing issues too, it's also kind of luck, and having found the riddle to get through the Sphinx, to get things turning here, this transactional energy with the sword. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius. Also the world card, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius. I mean, this is an energy of completion. And we talked about that with the Mars energy here in the Emperor. So it's kind of like an initiated via the divine masculine energy. We all have divine feminine and divine masculine energies within us. So it can be around literally a divine masculine energy and including that an older man, but that's not going to be the case for everybody. That's the energy and that's the energy, kind of the leader leadership energy here. There's a balance in the energies and that's coming here to get what somebody wants, I want to say. Getting to... What the goal, what is that here? It's the 10 of pentacles, it's coming together, it's communicating, it's making a really big offer, at the very least communicating where you wanna go and it's just looking like a pretty big deal, Virgo. The Wheel of Fortune, right in between the King of Swords as well and the Ace of Cups. This communication is going to change everything here. It can be for some of you, there's travel, physical travel, as in somebody's, you know, traveling to somebody else via chariot, <laughs> horse, planes, trains, automobiles, but it's also just coming in. It's the contact that's happening here. And I gotta tell you something here also with the Ace of Cups, and where did we see that coming in? Was it the world card we already saw? Anyway, there is a strong energy here of proposal, proposal energy. Marriage, again, it's, it keeps coming up. And I know that it's not for everybody, but for those of you that it's for, there's a validation for you. But they're coming in here to get closer to you. It's soulmate energy, their true purpose. And there, there are life-changing decisions here. It's incredibly clear. And this energy as well with the nine of wands in reverse here of just putting, also putting defenses down. And that's coming through here too. 
with the Emperor who's been hiding quite a few things, holding on to this Ankh, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine Energy, a little bit of, at least there was an imbalance, definitely hiding some feelings. It's clear that that is, there's even, there's so much more than just coming here emotionally available with the truth of how they feel. That is very much the case. There, I think there have been some power struggles here with this emperor and this empress, but this energy, the divine masculine energy of just wanting to move things and make things happen and come in here and, well, have some proposal energy again, whether that's around something huge like marriage or just talking again. If that's the proposal energy meeting for some of you, going back into where you were, restarting things, whatever that is, it is very clearly here your reading is really it's a, it's wow okay i want to keep this and it's bringing in so that's what's going on here the four of cups it's wanting to be your overall energy it's just not surprising to me at all the divine divine timing communication, growth. And here's the thing too, there's Saturn energy around here. This is in the upright energy. And that's having overcome, which what we see here, the cycle for renewal. Some karmic lessons, obstacles, challenges, overcoming that here. Perhaps there was a timing issue for some of you. It's, it's coming into that. It's reaching, it's both a completion of the cycle whatever's been going on with your person and alignment, also you and what's been going on with the connection and the renewal here. It's coming into the time. It's brought in the Four of Cups and it's interesting because when I was preparing for your reading before I even turned the camera on, there's always a lot of shuffling going on and I kept seeing the Four of Cups and I thought, all right, we'll see if it's coming back in here. So here it is, Moon and Cancer energy, the coming out of nowhere energy right here holding this cup. So there's a lot in here. You know, there's there's definitely a conversation in here going on. There is some humility around here coming through in the Six of Wands, an offer. Definitely the end of no contact, no communication and or in separation because that reversal, the Nine of Wands in reverse, is also a vulnerable energy. You know, it's defenses down, which I feel have been here, strongly have been here, but this minor arcana energy, it's putting that down. But coming in here, communicating. Here in the Four of Cups, are you can see the Three of Cups. Mercury and Cancer energy. And of course, that's the Mercury energy, the planet of the mind, the planet of communication. And it can be around, again, a written message, but it's a message, a phone call, whatever it is. A little bit of apathy coming through. So how long have you been waiting for? but it's coming in here. And what else is in that cup? You know, there's something in there big. It low. <laughs> that camera drives me crazy, but I caught it. They're coming in here with an offer. I don't think you're gonna be expecting it. And it's a life-changing offer. It's a life-changing decisions here. Look at your reading. The world card, the lover's card, the emperor, the empress, tempress, tempress. <laughs> tempress, what am I saying? Temperance. King of Swords, Six of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. This is a decision that's coming up here, Virgo. And it's going to change everything. This offer is changing everything. And coming in also with the Four of Cups, this of course, is the Three of Cups energy of reunion soul connection. It can be for some of you that this coming together might be in person. You might just see them. Maybe you bump into them. Maybe they show up at something because a lot of times in this energy here in the Three of Cups, it can include actual events around people maybe you both know, friends or family. Perhaps there's even a plan around that. So for some of you, it's clear that you're going to be seeing your person. For a lot of you, it's a message or a phone call, but it's unexpected. It's very unexpected. You see that on the lover's card, the ace of cups, and even here in the four of cups. 
<laughs> look what's right underneath it. Okay, and what's going on under here? Hello, I'm sorry about that. This camera is gonna make me crazy. What I was trying to say is, look what is going on under here, under the Eight of Wands. It's judgment. Eight of Wands, Mercury and Sagittarius energy as we talk about a, a message or communication. It's very, very, very clear. It's really fast energy too. It's, it's connecting here with the Six of Wands, the World card, the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Swords, the Four of Cups. I don't know if you're going to be expecting this. Maybe you are now. <laughs> But it's coming in quite fast. You're going to be hearing from your person, whether it's, again, however you're going to be hearing from them. Maybe you're hearing from somebody else and it's around your person. But ultimately, there is some communication here. There are some offers flying around and there are some decisions being made between this emperor and this empress energy. We all have divine feminine, divine masculine energies. So however you resonate with that, of course, is, is however you resonate with that. But it's clear for me that you're both here and there's a strong long-term energy connection between you. So whether it's you were in that energy already, you were building it or it was on the table, it's still here. This is definitely not over and there's definitely communication coming in. And boy, have they woke up and it's just wanting to show. Okay. I think that's it. Judgment, King of Cups, Four of Wands. Nine of Swords in reverse here. So this is a healing energy. and there's, Everybody's coming out of their head here. Nine of Swords, Gemini and Mars energies. It's just, you know, sadness around it, not sleeping very well, kind of in your head. Of course, it's right before the Ten of Swords. It's in reverse here, so it's coming out of that energy. And it's, it's wanting to connect over here. And I feel like it is connecting with your person's energy. It's just really clear that things are changing here really fast. Well, yeah, because they've come out of their head in this minor arcana energy here and are having some epiphanies and some clarity and some wake up energy and that is judgment. Archangel Gabriel here, the herald of visions, wanting to bring everybody together for the greater good. Get some clarity, make a decision, wake up. What do you want? How do you feel? King of Cups energy, Pisces energy. They've been suppressing their feelings. Why? Is it around that Hierophant energy? External stuff in their head, other people, cultural, religious differences, like maybe it just couldn't work, whatever. Internal stuff too, that's been coming through. Whatever it is, it's here. The emotions have always been here. This King of Cups is just a master of emotions, not getting to hold them back anymore. And again, for some of you, my gosh, so here's the thing, incoming soulmate energy. This can also be, <laughs> this can sometimes be a marriage card. It's a couple of things going on here. For some of you, it's really clear that there is a coming together at an actual event and it, and it may be around other people. But it's also connecting again to this long-term energy, commitment energy. And again, for some of you, marriage, it's not going to be that for everybody. You know, I live in Europe, as you know, and a lot of people here are, of course, connected and, it's, and, and build houses and have children and are not married. It's, it's not... It's not, it's not going to be that, that that's what it is for everybody. What I want to clarify and validate here is that it's a long-term connection. It's a commitment to each other that's coming through. That whether you've had that commitment already going on or it was, it was you were building up to it or it was on the table, it's very much here. It's just, it's so incredibly clear. I, I don't really know how else to say it. The Four of Wands, Venus and Aries energy. And here's the thing about this. This is a homecoming energy. So it can be, you know, at a dwelling. It can be at an event. But this is also just coming back together. It's a reunion energy. It's celebratory energy. And we see that. There is a coming together here. There is a celebratory energy. There is, um, I love you is flying around and offer decisions, major changes, major wake up call. What do you want? I want Virgo, life-changing decisions here in the world card, the completion energy, reaching the goal, connecting right to the Ace of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the Lover's card. 
Virgo, I, I just don't want to stop your reading, but I have to. I want to bring in some Oracle. It's one of those readings. It's just very goosebumpy. It's, I feel, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's goosebumpy. It's emotional, but not in a sad way. What can I say? We're shuffled and ready to go. I want to move the energy some more though. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what Virgo needs to see today. Aho. I'm not reading Oracle in reverse, by the way. Trust. So that's coming to an 11. It's 47. New beginnings. Master number. Union. That 11, of course, those ones <laughs> come together and they form a two. It's the two of you. That's balance. That's balancing out not just the divine feminine, divine masculine energies within us all to come from a place of truth and clarity and make decisions, big life-changing decisions here. This is reconciliation today. This is airing everything out. It's forgiveness. It's clarity. It's truth. This is your person returning here. This is reconciliation. This is, yeah, it, this is really clear. The union here and again, the balance, the, the renewal. It's really clear. And what is it coming here with the king? Man authority, male energy. I'm not going to say it here. Things pertaining to the law of justice. It's kind of bringing in some emperor energy. It's bringing in, and there's some cards here that I'm going to get in just a minute. Justice energy, the truth, Libra energy, a solution with the truth coming. The king, I mean, <laughs> we have the king of cups. We have the king of swords here. We haven't seen the king of wands and the king of pentacles. But it's kind of representative, isn't it? It's definitely coming here, though, with the, the emperor, I have to say. And very much connecting with justice, too. Rebuilding trust, asking for trust, because this just is this is really life changing, Virgo. It feels like everything here is going to change for you and for your person. Innocence, beginner, ignorance, new skill without practice, unstable curiosity. Interesting. So we have this on one hand. Yeah, it's the energy. So on one hand, we have this king energy here, and then we have a novice energy here. So it's like new start energy. It's kind of like page energy, beginner, innocence, new skill. So it's trying to, it's coming in in, in a whole new way. It's clean slate energy. It's figuring out how to navigate this. So what happened in the past? There's not a lot of, you know, I'm not getting a lot of clarity on that. There's not a, I'm not, the, the devil energy, I'm not feeling that, although I'm bringing it in now. I'm not really feeling, hearing, seeing what exactly happened here, but obviously there's a really big, there's a really strong connection between you, a lot of long-term energy, both in the soul connection and here in the 3D. But obviously something happened here that disconnected you. I'm not getting any really strong energies in regard to exactly what, although a little bit of maybe some bad decisions and some unavailability, of course, emotionally around your person, which is coming in completely. In fact, the King of Cups, I just realized, is wanting to be here on the Empress, which is coming in with this emotional availability and truth, which connected to this King energy here, which is also things, justice coming in here. So the truth of how they feel really, really clearly. It's interesting because this is saying things pertaining pertaining to the law. So it can be for some of you, there are, there are some actual legal things that have been going on or that were going on or that are needing to, are getting worked out because that's the renewal. A lot of this is, I mean, this is just the, the emotions coming, being honest about their feelings, being honest about possibly something else that isn't coming through for me that you're going to know because rebuilding trust is here. I, I'm literally asking for you to trust them coming in here with this new beginning and then s s the novice energy kind of starting in that way. 
this is just so incredibly clear. Love and forgiveness. So as I talk about that, what did go on? Because th there's forgiveness that I feel they're asking for, but that is also very clearly necessary on both sides. And that's also, that's connecting with judgment as well, because that's airing everything out and that's forgiveness. That's clarity. That's truth. This is coming together for sure. Uh, uh, it's just everything here. It's a chance. It's really, gosh, what can I say that I haven't already said? Love. I mean, this is not surprising. It's nine things coming to fruition. It's, of course, connecting here with the lover's card with this offer that I don't know that you're going to be expecting. You might be now. There's a decision to be made here. There's forgiveness to be had. Everything's coming up. All the emotions, whatever's been going on here, where things are going, life-changing decisions here. This reading is very goosebumpy, very clear, intense, that I, I, I'm actually, I feel, <laughs> which is a lot for me, I feel speechless. The mystery. Interesting. You know, look, it's this, this earth energy here in the forest, where it's going. It's a seven that's assessing the situation and it's controlling what you can and letting go of what you can't. It's bringing in some full card energy. It's taking the, it's a new path, taking a chance, hope. It's a clean slate. It's a new beginning here. It's connecting with the novice too. It's another try. It's an, coming from everybody's side. It's coming together here. Your reading is really, yeah, wow. I'm not sure. Again, I feel speechless. Virgo, I want to bring in some channeled love messages. I want to move the energy a little more. What is falling out is yours and what I'm bringing out is yours. I'm closing my eyes. Messages from your person, messages from their higher self. We are soulmates. The lover's card, love. There's a lot of love between you. They love you. You love them. They're not letting you go. I don't think you're letting each other go. But you've been waiting for this. Who? Putting this here with love, the lovers, the world card. Please forgive me. Forgiveness. Connecting to the king, to the emperor, to the king of swords here as well. The communication coming through right here, right now. A lot of times in readings, the energies will come through that are just coming through in the reading, you know, that may not come through in the 3D. This is very real time as well. It's coming through here and, it, and it's everything is about to change. You inspire a love in me I never knew. Do you miss me too? We were meant to meet. It's the wheel of fortune, it's fate and destiny. Your destinies are intertwined. Very much. This is, this is your person. We have many soulmates in the world. It's true, romantic and otherwise. But this is your person. I made so many mistakes. It's connecting with forgiveness and the novice too. Because it came through really quite early in your reading of the holding back. So I don't know if this is, you know, if you're, if this is somebody who's always been holding back their emotions or it was just happening as things were getting more serious or what was going on or is going on in their life. But there's definitely been, yeah, a, not being as emotionally available, not communicating well, but it's coming in here, everything 
King of Cups, Empress energy, coming in emotionally available, wanting to be honest about that, but about everything. This is just airing everything out, airing everything out. Clarity for everybody, clarity coming in, clarity being offered, clarity I feel being received from both ends. Forgiveness, because you know, the, the foundation here is love. Look, the steps leading up here. Things coming to fruition in that nine. I'm so sorry I hurt you. So it's more here with the forgiveness. There's three here still. I miss you too. Do you miss me too? So telepathic messages here. Do you miss me too? I miss you too. I think of you all the time. Your last channel, love message. Message from their higher self. I don't want your reading to end, Virgo, but I need to end your reading. <laughs> Forgive me. Forgive me. It's been really beautiful. I don't want to lose you forever. There's so much coming through today. There are so many messages and so many things that really that just sum up your reading. But this is another one of them. I don't want to lose you forever because it's been coming through really strong that they don't and they're not going to. You don't want to lose each other. This is most definitely in alignment. Connecting with judgment. Make a decision, wake up, what do you want? It's clear what they want. And they've definitely awakened, woken up. Virgo, that's your reading today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I really enjoyed your reading a lot, and I hope you did too. If you did, a way to show that, of course, is to like the video and subscribe to the channel. So thank you for that. It also keeps the channel going. And of course, make sure you have your notifications on because it's also a way for you to keep in touch to know when I'm uploading something that maybe you want to watch. Thank you again. I'm sending you lots of love and light and hoping for the best outcome for you. It's palpable what I feel today. The best outcome for you. I look forward to seeing you at another love reading. Until then, bye Virgo.